Actually, my room's kind of messy. Let me clean some stuff real fast. Anyway, hey, what's up, hello. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, hello, hope you stay a little bit. If you've been here for a bit, filming this while currently sitting at 994 subscribers, but my assumption is that that will boost to a thousand sometime between now and the time that this gets uploaded. So... <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Preemptively, perhaps prematurely, I'll say, thanks for a thousand subscribers. It makes me very happy that you're enjoying this channel. So, uh, what should I do to celebrate? I don't know. I was gonna do like a reptile room tour in Minecraft, but that's a lot of work and I don't know if anyone would wanna watch it. This video, I'm gonna be upgrading my frog's enclosure. You can kind of see it behind me over there. It's very small and very sad. It's it's just not good enough for, for the little guys that are in it. I made a care video about white tree frogs um, a number of months ago, and I think it's a pretty good video, but as a lot of people, a lot of people have pointed out, there's a couple things wrong with the care that I put into the video. So as a means of rectifying it, I made another video sort of answering questions and adding my input into some of the things I got wrong. And then I'm also making this video where I'm giving my frogs a much nicer cage and also changing my care based on some of the tips that I was given uh, in the comments of that video. So thank you for your comments. Um, you no longer need to post all the essays. I, 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 got, I got the idea, but thank you. Currently my two frogs, Gromulus and Chumbus are in a 10 gallon uh, 12 by 12 by 18 cage. I'm gonna be upgrading them into an 18 by 18 by 24 exoterra and I need to get decorations. I need a big fat like thick log to go in the center. Maybe some like driftwood for them to climb on. Two of the things that I need to be different about this cage are number one, their hiding spot. Because as it stands right now, the cork tube that they're in, it's long, it's tall, and it actually serves its function really well. They love hiding in it. The problem is they like it a little bit too much. My two frogs have very different personalities. Gromulus, the male, is much more timid and shy than Chumbus, the female. So what happens is because they only have that one log to hide in, they stack on top of each other. Not like like this, but like this, like like front to back, like the human centipede type deal, like frog centipede type beat. So when Chumbus is at the top, it's no problem because at night Chumbus comes out, she goes into her water bowl and then Gromulus stays in the tube and then sometimes he'll go in the water bowl if she goes up on the plants and all is good and I can, you know, interact with them no problem. But if Gromulus is on top, that means the whole thing gets plugged up and backed up. So I just don't get to see my frogs for a while while Gromulus is at the top of the tube because he doesn't come out and Chumbus can't get past him because it's just sitting on the floor. There's only one exit. So that's kind of a flaw in the way that their terrarium has been created. So I'd like to avoid that in this new terrarium. Additionally, because their cage is so small and it's so densely planted, I can't really spot clean very well without taking out all of their decorations. So I'd like to be able to pick up and clean up their poops without having to completely rearrange the cage. I think that would kind of be a good thing to do, being able to see poops. So anyway, I'll film the process of me picking up a bunch of um, decorations, that's what they're called, and other decor and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then uh, you can see me actually build the cage. So let's do it. Oh, it's so, God, it's so hot. I need a big fat log from Petco because they got the big fat log hookups. I'm gonna go to my local pet store and try to get some regular like grapevine branches. I'm gonna go to Michael's or some sort of craft store and cop some fake plants. I'm not gonna overbuy this time. I'm not gonna overbuy this time. And then whatever I don't get or can't find, I'm just gonna get online. I want one of those frog cups, like the ones that like suction to this. Yeah, you know, I'll order one of those when I get home. Your boy has arrived at Petco and is contemplating when to exit his car so as not to embarrass himself vlogging around other people. Why do I do this to myself? There's literally nothing more embarrassing than being a, like a vlogger. That being said, there's some good stuff to choose from. What should I pick? Okay, so I got the goods, but like literally the most embarrassing thing just happened to me. Uh, give me a second. Okay, literally I went up to the, the cashier and I just like forgot my debit card pin. I don't know how, just forgot for no good reason. I guess cause I've been like, cause, cause of like the pandemic and everything. I just been paying for everything online. Should I call my bank? I got these two little cork rounds. One's for the frog, one's for uh, next my king snake. Uh, cause she's getting pretty big and I want to redo her cage as well. But I didn't get my big like chunky branch that I wanted uh, as like a centerpiece. So I'm gonna go to the other Petco near me and check that out. And then uh, I'll just follow up with the rest of it. So peace.
Did people ever try to cancel Haley Williams for like slut shaming and misery business? Haley Williams is super like cool and unproblematic though, so. Okay, we've arrived at the second Petco. Looking for a thicky branch. Might go shop at TJ Maxx. Might go get some ice cream from Rite Aid. Who knows? Who knows what this adventure holds? There's a guy blocking the area that I want to go into. So um, we just, uh, we're just gonna look at the pets while, while we wait. Hey guy. We got all this wood. So much to choose from. Let's go. Okay, so the thicky branch, this guy right here, has been copped and acquired. I decided against going clothes shopping and getting ice cream because I have an, I had an interview, not a job, which means I don't yet have the money for that potential job. $2 on ice cream, I sleep. $27 on a piece of wood. I needed an Eco Earth brick and the pet store didn't have it and I really should have bought it at Petco when I was there, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So I don't want to go back. I just order one online, but I'm going to go to the craft store right now and uh, get some plants. You know, we got like a ton of plants in here. One of the best things I think though about being an adult with income that you can like spend on things that you want is when you run errands, you can just, you could just buy candy and then eat it. Like there's nothing stopping you from, from doing that. And I think that's pretty sick. Shouts out to Risa Stick. Fire. Okay, so I have Eco Earth cooking right now. We got this 50% uh, like spring water, 50% like distilled vinegar mix that's supposed to clean off all the like hard water from when I last cleaned Slinky's cage. I reinstalled the wood back. So we're gonna clean the cage, get ready for the frogs, uh, and then we'll, I guess just put all the decorations in. Uh, and then lastly, the coup de gras. Froggy bowl. And that's it, the cage is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think overall the cage is working pretty well. I've been using it for a little under a week now and I don't have any problems with frog stacking anymore. They are still stacking on each other in the same little hide, but because that hide is so much bigger now, the stacking isn't really a problem because I can get to them much easier and if I need to pull one out, I can. Even though the cage is pretty crowded, because it's much larger, it, there's still a lot more room for me to go in and grab the frogs. It's not so dense to where I have to rearrange the entire cage just to get one out. Uh, and also, while I was building the cage, I forgot to put in the frog cup. So here's some frog cup ambiance for you, if you so desire.
How cute. Anyway, thanks for watching. New video coming in a couple weeks. Stay tuned for then. But until the meantime, subscribe if you haven't. And if you are subscribed, thanks. Peace out. Uh -huh.